Meet the Pembroke Welsh Corgi. Compatibility with children. Trainability. Compatibility with other pets. Protectiveness. Energy level. Loyalty. Exercise requirements. Grooming. Country of origin. Wales. Pembroke and Cardigan Welsh Corgis both share the same obscure origin. Some breed historians believe the Corgi came from Nordic and Spitz types, but others claim that it is a descendant of the Tekel Dachshund family. A more realistic scenario is that the Welsh Corgi's ancestors include a number of ancient dogs, such as a similar looking Swedish Valhund. It is believed that these dogs were brought to Wales by ancient Viking and Flemish wayfarers from abroad in the early 1100s. These little dogs were used to accompany and protect flocks and herds of sheep, geese, and cattle. For this reason, it is believed that corgis are among the oldest dog breeds in the United Kingdom. It wasn't until 1928 that the Pembroke and Cardigan types were considered distinct enough to be officially recognized as separate varieties of the same breed, and it wasn't until 1934 that they were finally separated into two breeds by the recognizing kennel clubs. The Pembroke Welsh Corgi is now closely associated with royalty thanks to Queen Elizabeth II's keen interest in the breed. Famous Welsh Corgis Rufus Born in 1994, Rufus belonged to one of Amazon.com's original engineers when it was just a startup company. He became a permanent fixture at the office, chasing tennis balls down the hallway and bringing smiles to the faces of employees. Rufus even started to gain a following outside of the company, and fans would often send gifts to the office just for him. He passed away in 2009, but he made a definite impact on the company's corporate culture, and to this day, employees are encouraged to bring their dogs to work. Fun facts. The etymology of the word corgi isn't known with 100% certainty, but a popular theory is that the name was derived from the Welsh words cor, meaning dwarf, and gi, meaning dog. When corgis lie down on their stomachs, their legs often rest straight behind them with their paw pads facing up. This adorable resting position is known by corgi owners as a sploot. According to Welsh folklore, Pembrokes have a special connection to the magical realm leaving their owners' homes at night to join the fairies in the surrounding forests. The stout dogs were said to have helped the wee folk of the woods by pulling their carriages around and even carrying them into battle, resulting in the breed's fairy steed nickname. Corgis weren't always used for herding. In fact, many believe that the first job of a corgi was to simply accompany flocks and herds out of the pasture or market, but eventually the squat dogs were used to drive the herds by barking at them from the rear. Breed details. Lifespan, 13 years. Height, 10 to 12 inches. Weight, males, 22 to 30 pounds. Females, 20 to 28 pounds. Personality. The Pembroke Welsh Corgi's temperament is playful, affectionate, and steady. He is ranked high in intelligence and makes an excellent working dog or companion. Notoriously gentle as he matures, the Pembroke makes a great playmate for other dogs and children. The breed excels in many areas of discipline and events such as agility, obedience, tracking, and article search. And some still use Pembrokes for herding to this day. Common Health Issues Glaucoma hip dysplasia, intervertible disc disease, progressive retinal atrophy, and degenerative myelopathy. Coat and color. The Pembroke Welsh Corgi comes in two coat varieties, the standard coat and the fluffy coat. Standard coat color variety. All shades of tan, red, sable, fawn, or black, with or without tan points, creeping tan or running tan. Thank you for watching this Continental Kennel Club video. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit ckcusa.com for more information.